set them down in this bottom pasture. They don't know what to think yet. Be nice. Good morning, everyone. It's Alan here at the farm on Route 66. But as you can tell, maybe you can tell I'm at a gas station here. And uh, I feel really bad for people right now with the high gas prices. And hay was already super high. And so people just can't afford to feed their horses. So it's the beginning of spring break and I have a little bit of time and I'm gonna go buy four horses that someone can't afford to feed. I bought I've bought from this guy before and he has really nice horses and I, I just feel bad for him because these aren't horses he would have liked to have gotten rid of but he just can't afford to feed them and I'm afraid we're gonna have a lot more of this problem going on because with gas prices the way they are I don't know what you're paying where you live but right now I'm paying 439 for a gallon of gas here at Love's gas station. And so with gas prices that high, hay is gonna continue to get even higher. The good thing is winter's almost over, so there'll start being some fresh cuts of hay, but I don't think hay's gonna go down. Sorry, someone's diesel truck's really loud right there. I'll let them drive past a little ways. I just don't think it's gonna get a lot better at all and maybe even worse with the high gas prices those that ship hay up to northern arizona are going to have to charge more feel really bad that this family needs to get rid of their horses and the truth is i can't pay as much as i i used to be able to pay for horses either because just my my trip out to get the horses is going to cost a lot of money and so Anyway, come along and see which horses I get, and I'm gonna be looking for new homes for them. One of them is supposed to be a pretty gentle older mare, and she is in full, so I will probably keep her and let you see her have a baby on the farm, and we'll just see how gentle she really is, and maybe sell her as a kid's horse later, help her. It's not hard to find a good home for a kid's horse, but. And then there's a two-year-old and two one-year-olds, so. Come along and let's go see these horses. And I sure hope gas prices get better soon because if not, it's not just horse food that's going up, it's gonna be human food too. So anyway, have a, have a great day and come along. Well, that's depressing. Over $100 just for 23 gallons of gas. What, what can we do? I could just say, no, I'm not gonna go get horses, but then those horses could starve to death. Sorry, there was so many cars out there. It was really noisy. In reality, probably the horses wouldn't starve to death, but this is why there are so many wild horses or feral horses is that people can't afford to feed them. So they just let them out. And then they just keep reproducing and they, they are unmanaged. And so there's an overpopulation of horses the grass is overgrazed, and so it's just a perpetual cycle of bad, <laughs> bad stuff going on. So anyway, if I get these horses, can bring them to town and help them find good homes where they'll be able to be cared for. It'll be a, a win for the horses. It'll be a win for the family that's selling me the, the horses. And as you know, I enjoy this process of helping horses get to new homes. So, so let's go.
I'm super excited. These are the four that I'm taking home. And uh, we'll load them up here in just a minute. But I wanted to show this big mare is in full. Well, that's her baby last year, that roan stud colt right there. And she's in full to this registered roan stallion right here. And so these are very nice horses. They just can't afford to feed all of them. Even though they're doing a good job feeding them, they're all healthy and look good. So now don't get offended, but but we finally found what a Ford is good for. Makes a great feeding trough here. So <laughs> you can tell I'm a Chevy guy. <laughs> but anyway, kind of a kind of a fun feeder. I think I might enjoy putting a feeder out of a bed of a truck. But this stallion is beautiful. So I'm excited to take these home and see what we can do with them. They're sure pretty horses. Maybe just tie her in front and then we'll put a little pre pressure behind these. I think it's all right. If you want to come back behind with with me, hopefully we can just put a little bit of pressure right there. Come on. Come on, babies, let's go. She'll go though. Cowboys here to help me out. Well, that was super fun. They take great care of their horses and they were sad to see these go, but they said hay is about $21 per bell right now and it's headed up with the gas prices. So they decided to sell these four. <coughs> Sorry, I'm bouncing around on this dirt road, but I'm super excited. These are nice ones. The Phillies, I think I'll. I'll find homes for first. That little Bay Roan stud colt is going to be a really nice prospect for somebody. Maybe worth getting him castrated and letting him grow up a little bit. The mare, she's very fat right now and it'll be fun to watch her have a baby. Hopefully watch her um, live. We'll keep her around until she has a baby for sure and see what we do there. So. I may even take her home and see how gentle she is. <laughs> Maybe Blake would jump on her for a second. A horse can be ridden when they're pregnant. You just don't want to ride them, ride them hard. Back when I was in high school, we had a mare that I didn't even know. It. We, we had bought her. She was super skinny and malnourished. And anyway, we got her home and started feeding her and she started getting fatter, but we didn't even realize she was pregnant. We didn't know she had she had been exposed to a stallion 
Anyway, we went on a 100 mile horseback trip as 16 year old boys with a scout group. And it was an awesome experience. And about two weeks after we got home, she delivered a healthy baby. So anyway, when people say, you can't ride them while they're pregnant, I think, yeah, you can. You just gotta be um, a little cautious, or should be a little cautious, but like I say, we weren't even cautious and everything went great, so. Well, I hope I'm taking the right road back. Anyway, I better pay attention and go where I'm supposed to go here. What do you think, Gold 66? You excited about these new horses here? <laughs> he is such a pretty horse. Well, I got here, but the kids are riding horses and Vicky's editing a video. So I'm going to go ahead and get them unloaded and go from there. I'm going to let them down in this bottom pasture. They don't know what to think yet. Be nice. If I had one more person that would be easier, but makes me happy my kids are off on a ride with each other. So we are very blessed that Blake and Casey get along so well. All of our kids get along so well, but they're the only two at home now. So there's the two fillies, there's the stud colt, and here's, here's mama to the stud colt. Welcome to the farm. Man, she is fat. She is super fat right now. Excited that we'll get to have her baby here on the farm. Eho's gonna go check him out. Eho is looking so good. Well, welcome to the farm and follow us as we see what happens with these horses. But I'm super excited. They're such nice horses, it won't be hard to find homes for these ones. But with hay prices, it's going to be hard for anybody to feed them, not just those that I bought these from. So, so it is getting harder to maybe find good homes, but like I say, nice horses like these shouldn't be too hard. Mm -hmm. 